uh, hello, I'm, I'm going to say hola, but well, we're in Spain. Uh, my husband is holding the camera, so I hope this is going well because I don't even see if I'm in the frame. And I've created a weird construction with a sort of a selfie, so I hope this works. Uh, my name's Renate, and this is my first life. And um, I'm going to talk about my art. I'm going to talk about uh, things I make. I'm going to show you around. I'm just talking a little bit now with me in the frame. And then I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you some of my art. I'm going to tell you how I do things. I will also talk about uh, some art classes that I um, uh, uh, conduct. Uh, both online and in my studio. At the moment the focus is online and it really, really works well and I can, I promise you, I can get the creativeness out of you. Anybody can paint. I know that is to be true from experience because I've been an, uh, a teacher, art teacher for since 2006 really. Um, and um, I'm going to show you some of my art. I'm going to explain how I do my paintings. Um, and uh, I'll just do it very spontaneously uh, and then uh, hopefully uh, you get an idea. Uh, I will also, I also do workshops. I do mandala workshops and art workshops that you can uh, apply for. Um, but I'll tell, talk a little bit later about that as well. And something new that I came up with that I think is really interesting. So bear with me. I'm going to take over from my husband now. And um, then I'm, I'm going to show you around. And it will be very Im improvised uh, because I'm going to show you around in my house. And I just hope you like it. So here we go. I'm going to take it over. Thank you, husband. Gracias. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, he wanted to say... Stop, but it's not stop. So here we go. I'm going to show you my paintings and I'm starting with this one. This is a Buddha painting. I work in series and I like to, I like to create Buddhas. Now this specific Buddha is not for sale sadly because it got ruined during an exhibition, but you can't really see that. So it's mine to stay here, which is actually fine. Now I'm going to very quickly walk into uh, our bedroom and that is necessary because I need to tell you something about this workshop that I am going to do. I hope I <laughs> cleared up a little bit. Uh, so I just want to show you this painting. This is a painting I created uh, quite a few few years ago when I was still living in Holland. So it's a painting of a couple. I don't do many couples, that's why I want to show you. This is another painting of a couple which I did and it's above our little Buddha. Uh, I created this one in Spain. I'm not saying any more because I want to show you some other things and I will get back to that. So here we go. Just say hello to my little doggy, Mickey. Um, and here we are. This is uh, another Buddha that I created this year. I created uh, quite a few Buddhas this year because, uh, because of stress really. And you know what? Painting really is... Uh, helping me to cope with things and the Buddha's kind of well I, would, I wouldn't say saved my life it's not that dramatic but it surely helped me calm down now this is a triptych that I sell as a triptych however I personally particularly like this last one I don't know if you can see it well and um, that one will also be available as a canvas print and it is already available as a rec on the recycled paper in my Renard's World shop I'll explain all that uh, later. So I'm just going to walk you around a little bit. There's another Buddha and I like to do, yeah, work with, um, that you actually see, how do I say that, reflection. So it's quite thick. I work a lot with a palette knife and I never mix on my palette. I only mix on my paintings. Just have a look where I'm going now. I'm going to my flamenco painting. Because what I do, I work in series a lot. So I've created a flamenco painting series and Buddhas are the latest ones, but I've also created a series of masks. Uh, this is a, quite a big painting, as you can see, maybe from the table. And um, this one is for sale. M uh, most of my paintings are for sale, to be honest. And the prices can be found on my website. And I will put the information of the prices on my website. I'm just throwing you around in our TARDIS. Oh, my husband doesn't want to be on the, <laughs> on the uh, uh, video. So this is an older painting of mine, which I personally really like. I don't know if you can see it well. 
and it's an oil painting that I created when I was still living in Holland and this is an angel sorry about the noise of the street this is an angel painting and we are in sort of a fitness room um, uh, which I've created a series of angel paintings which um, um, well, which, which are also for sale. This is an uh, older painting that I created in the Netherlands when I came back from, and you can see a little bit of light in there, which is not too great, but it's the reflection of the, the, the painting, uh, of the glass. Um, I, I did that in Holland when I was still painting rather abstract and that, that's not for sale because I quite like it. So I'm just showing you a few paintings that are here on the wall. Everything's full here with paintings. Um, I do have still some paintings in a um, in a uh, gallery here in the Haradura, which is now closed. So sadly, that's just the way things are at the moment. I'm um, just showing you one of my other f uh, flamenco ladies, which I personally quite like. It's a diptych. It needs a nice frame. So if you want to buy it, just let me know and you can put a frame around it. Um, the thing is, uh, my prices are a little bit high. The reason is because I'm a professional artist and I have been for 35 years and I've been in the art scene in the Netherlands for many years in galleries and uh, always sold uh, well and I participated also in uh, uh, exhibitions in Rome and in Paris. If you have my uh, introduction you will hear a few things that I've already said but never mind. These two paintings are part of my uh, mask paintings. I sold uh, uh, a few of them but uh, these two are still left here and then I'm gonna put this stand down maybe uh, I'm not 100% sure if that will work, but this is uh, one of my latest paintings because I'm sort of trying to paint animals. And this is, of course, I don't really have to explain that. It's an elephant. Um, I quite like this painting. It's a big painting and it is for sale. And I do like to put some silver and cold reflections in my painting. So I like that it's still a little bit of, bit of an abstract feel. Now I'm going to do something making a bit of noise because I'd like to show you um, with the elephant in the background some prints I still have. Now the thing with the lockdown I can't really make more prints so that's just a bit sad but you can get these prints from Redbubble and they're also some of most of them are also on t-shirts in my Renard's World fashion shop. Now I've more noise. I've created a, a, a poster, little posters of uh, manda uh, what am I saying? They are mandalas, but they are horoscope mandalas. This is Capricorn, and then I show you one of Virgo. I'm going to actually check if you can see it. So this is the Virgo, which is blue. I'm going to hold up the, the Capricorn again, which is brown. Might come across as a bit of orange, and this is the. Suddenly it's Piccadilly Circus here. It's always really quiet in my street, but now not. This is a Libra and um, I'd like to show you also the Sagittario because I personally love this color. These are the colors that are actually of the um, horoscopes. I'm going to do something. I'm going to close the window a moment. So bear with me. Just look at the elephants. And there we are, that should help a little bit. Now, in my mandalas, I also often uh, put animals in there or uh, angels uh, and sometimes Buddhas. And this is uh, an example when there's a Buddha in my mandala. You see the reflection because I'm using one of those selfie rings, but I need that to get the colors right. So I hope it doesn't, it's not too disturbing. This is a, another painting of a Salus, it's called, and that's not a mistake. It's not, shouldn't be Salut, it's Salus. I don't know if you can see it. There's an elephant in there, and there's an interesting story about that, which I will share if I still have time, but not, not that, because I have to keep an eye on the time. Um, and this is a, an image of uh, another elephant, uh, which I quite like. So these are only available as posters. I don't have the originals. Uh, for sale. Some of them I don't even have anymore. Uh, and I also have some images of uh, uh, flamenco dancers on uh, little posters. Now I will probably create some images of them 
um, to to also sell but at the moment these are just a few that I've got left so I can't really um, print more but uh, I will in the future if you're interested so you can always contact me uh, sorry about the reflection maybe I should actually switch this off for a moment um, uh, does that work yeah it should be a little bit better but you can probably still see a bit of a reflection now as I also said in my introduction I've created a set of oracle cards angel oracle cards and I'm calling these me moment angel cards and uh, this is to have a moment with yourself. And I'm just quite quickly show you a few images, just so you have an idea. And on the back of the card, there's always three or four poppies in each card, and this is Ezra. And uh, then there is a reason, oh sorry, I didn't even show that correctly, this is Ezra. And the three poppies and sunflower. And then on the back, there's first a reason why you picked the card intuitively. And then there is uh, an explanation, or not an explanation, it's a suggestion for a me moment. Um, and um, all the cards have that. So I'm just showing you a few more images. So just for you to get an idea about the cards. And as you can see, they're not the normal, often these angel cards are really beautifully painted, by the way, but I wanted a little bit quirky, a little bit more fun, to be honest, but I still sort of channeled them, if you, uh, well, I should say, if you believe that, I believe it. Um, it just came to me, and then I just painted these, and I personally quite like that. Uh, this one, maybe, I'd like to share, because I'm showing some of my favorite ones. Uh, I've got a sort of Tai Chi kind of uh, <laughs> uh, person. She's got a little bit of a see-through dress, because angels can have see-through dresses, can't they? And uh, then this is one that I also quite like, sort of a fallen angel, but uh, fall falling is not bad, because you can always get up again. And this is Belle, which is also one of my favorites paintings. Now in my painting classes I do allow people to copy from my work and I then guide them but as several things I can do um, and um, uh, yeah with with the experience I have I know for a fact that everybody can paint and find their own style but I'm still going to continue my little tour around the house for the paintings. Now this is still part of my um, uh, flamenco paintings and I'm going to switch the light back on uh, yeah and because you can see then that it's a little bit glittery I do that with some of my paintings not all but I quite like that so you, you don't always see that it depends where you have it and whether the light falls on it in a certain way and uh, this is my uh, Toro in La Herradura painting, so it's a bull in La Herradura, I don't know if you can see it well. And it's actually the, the Punta uh, de Serra Gordo, and people who live in La Herradura will know that. If you don't live in La Herradura, you won't know that. This painting is also for sale. Well, all these paintings I'm showing you are for sale. This is another flamenco painting, so it's a little bit smaller, it's in a nice frame. And uh, this is actually an oil painting. Uh, the one on the left is a, is a acrylic painting. So now I'm going to walk, walk you through a little passageway and explain along the way. And I hope the light is okay. But these are two paintings I'm going to show you. This one and another one. Uh, I've painted these in Italy when I lived there. And that's already 25 years or, I don't know, a very long time ago. And... Um, uh, I still I really love these paintings but you can see that I changed my style which is I think normal for artists to change the style over the years and some people have asked me why did you paint like that again because I, I don't want to and I possibly don't can't even anyway this is uh, one that I did here when I was in Haradura there was a symposium of international artists in the Ayuntamiento and I was invited to be part of that and we had to paint live, so the audience could come in and see us paint, which I don't like. But I created it anyway, and I've used this painting for the cover of one of my books. I always use my paintings for the colors, uh, the, for, my, for the covers of my books, I always use paintings. Now, this is a mandala. I love mandalas, and I also offer, uh, well, first of all, I offer mandala workshops, and I'm soon to organize one for the Costa women. 
uh, and this is a mandala and what I really like is to add things a little bit hidden in there so there's an elephant in there as well I don't know if you can see it and I use this uh, uh, three-dimensional paint for the uh, lines outside and mandalas don't have to be perfect it is I think uh, the perfection in the imperfection um, and I can teach you how to do that so and I also do personalized mandalas so if you want a mandala for your office or your house and you want some special symbolism in there or names or something like that I can do that in the color of your choice this is a painting called well, it's actually the the, the third eye pa uh, chakra. I, I'm having it very close on time. It's the third eye chakra because I made a, a series of chakra women and mandala women, I call them. And uh, these, uh, I still got three paintings here that are for sale. And each painting has two sailing boats and water and a red moon, which I also need to explain at some point if I have time. And if not, that will be in another video. Uh, but this one is part of a series of seven, of course, and you can get them as a print, uh, both in Saatchi Online Gallery, which I will share the link to, and also on Renard's World Fashion, where you can also get it as a, both as a print and on a t-shirt or tote bag, just so you know. Now, the next painting I'd like to show you is, and this will be the reflection again of the light, and I hope you can't still can see it a little bit. So I have to hold it maybe like this, so it's not too bothering, because it's actually one of my favorite paintings. It's an angel, and it does have a little bit of glitter in it, but it's behind glass, so you can't really see that very well. Uh, but it's it's a beautiful painting, I think, and it's for sale. Uh, then uh, another Buddha that was in my other introduction video, but you couldn't really see that well, um, because of the light of my new camera on my laptop. It eats all the light. Very sharp, but it eats all the light. This is another one of my chakra women, and this is the crown chakra, um, in the color of the crown chakra. And as you can see, they're quite sensual because, um, yeah, I do paint sensual women. Don't really ask me why, because I don't really know. I don't use models. That might be a bit peculiar for some, but I never use models. It all comes from my brain, which is a... Well, which is a brain. <laughs> anyway, last uh, uh, chakra painting is um, uh, the base chakra. And uh, that's red, of course. So I don't know if you can see it well because it deforms a little bit. Uh, but I also, I, I paint on everything if I get a chance. So I paint on little uh, uh, cupboards. I painted on the table, angels. You can't really see it well. I did mandalas on tables already been doing that for 25 years or so um, it's a little bit of a weird video isn't it but um, I also do these uh, uh, which I also showed in my introduction I do these surrender bowls and they're ceramic and they are um, I give them all a special name they're quite small uh, but I think they're really special and now I'm going to take you outside to my studio and um, hopefully I'm going to sit down and then I'm going to talk a little bit more. Uh, but I need to watch the time. So I've got about 10 minutes. Oh, that's good. Huh? A nice white wall in my studio. I'm just going to show you around a little bit. Because my studio, um, there's a patio where I live, uh, which is a shared patio with a Spanish family. I'm not going into that because then it becomes a little bit of a... <laughs> not a positive story. And this is a painting uh, which I call Friends, and it's uh, it kind of represents what we're doing, isn't it? In Costa Women, women helping each other, giving each other advice, and be there for each other. Well, I, I think that's the idea anyway. So now I have to somehow watch the time, which I don't know how to do that, because... Um, but I'm just going to sit down and, and just not bother about it too much. And then I hope you can see me. So this is... What what I'm going to do and I want to show you this painting uh, because it's a painting I used for one of my books and here I am I hope maybe you don't see me um, but it's a book called uh, Cheers and it's about partners of uh, uh, who've lived, people who've lived with an alcoholic or children could be children, partners, friends 
but I interviewed people for that, and also I interviewed alcoholics and um, uh, people in the in the in the field, and I wrote written their story with their permit permission anonymously in but it's in the first person so they're real stories but there's also tips where to go for help i'm not driving on too much about my books because there's a special bookshop uh days to two days uh, or three but starts on the 21st i think but please um i'll have to look that up i didn't really memorize that well but if you're interested in my books uh please uh join me then because i'm not going really into it i just want you to show some covers so that you see that I use paints, paintings for the covers of my books. And this book was, I hope you can see it, I think you can. It's called Secret Thoughts, uh, they're quirky, sensual little stories. And this is my last book and I want to show that because you can see the painting I showed in the hallway uh, with the rosetta of the guitar and the flamenco dancer in, in it. And my flamenco dancers are not necessarily dancing all the time. Yeah, you, you don't know why, but that's just the way it is. And by the way, these are quirky stories of my life here in Spain. Things that really happened since 2003. So the painting at the back is called Cheers. I'm going to show you something I always do. When I start a painting, I like to make a background first. So I just do a random background and then I build them up. Uh, these, I, I've got a lot of tips to share with you when I, I do my art classes or, or my workshops. And... Um, I've done it now uh, since April. I've got a really nice group of women coming to my class on Saturday morning. Uh, they're part of a Facebook group called uh, Sil uh, The Silver Tent. And I created that class especially for that group. So you could join, but you have to be over 50. So you've got to be old like me. Um, then you can join. And uh, then you get uh, a discount as well for those classes. And it's two hours on a Saturday morning. However, if you're young and you want to paint and you want me to help you um, I do offer art classes I'm going to pick a day but maybe people can give me some feedback about what days or times would really suit you I do have a Wednesday morning art class in my studio and um, two uh, sometimes three ladies come every now and then um, because they work for uh, Kanta Lobo and the liver and the, and the well, they, anyway, it doesn't really matter who they are, but they like to come to my class and they've been coming for a long time, so we can have sufficient uh, distance. Now, the mandala workshops as well, I will um, hopefully offer uh, one soon in, in Costa Women, and uh, I will send you information before the class, and um, the paintings I showed you before, that will also be a workshop, and I think I'm going to keep that still a little bit secret. Um, I am still have to think of a, a little bit of a, 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 a quiz for you um, to win uh, some goodies and I'm going to offer uh, my um, angel cards is one of the things that I offer as a prize and, and a book uh, but that will be for the, the bookshop so I probably will do a little quiz for the bookshop as well. And um, uh, not sure if there's much more to tell. Uh, apart from that, I believe painting is really good for the soul. Uh, it really keeps you, um, it's just something really beautiful because it keeps you sane. I would say it keeps me sane for sure in that period that I lived with for 12 years with an alcoholic partner. I now don't. I married a very lovely Spanish avocado farmer. Um, uh, and, and by the way I'm not against drinking I like to drink a glass of wine but uh, th that's a whole other subject without which I will explain in my book presentations um, but um, yeah I'd like to um, share all my tips and tri uh, tricks I love it when people learn how to paint and find their own um, style and as one of the ladies who's in my uh, class who's actually also part of the Costa Women, Dale Darley is her name, I'm sure she doesn't mind telling you, she says joining the class really m helped her find peace inside when she's painting I should say, she feels that peace inside and that's the power of painting um, and you can do it too but you can also put a painting on the wall because uh, energy of paintings emanate. Uh, if you have a house without paintings or nothing on the wall, that can feel really cold. And as soon as you put art on the wall or beautiful prints, 
things you love, uh, the atmosphere changes. And I know this for a fact because when people come to my house, no matter who it is, whether they like my paintings or not, they always said, what a lovely energy this house has. It's because of the paintings. And um, I hope you like this presentation. I'm sort of sure that my time is up. So hoping to see you in my other lives and uh, in my bookshop information and watch out for my posts. If you want to find me, you can find me on the right hand side on the Renard's World. Um, but I also will put a few links underneath this video. Bye for now. <laughs>